everyone what is up today i'm doing an updated what's on my iphone because so many of you have been requesting that i do an updated what's on my iphone video so here we are i just got a new phone this is the iphone 11 pro max and i just upgraded from the 8 plus so if you guys want to go watch what was on my iphone 8 plus i'll link it up in a card or i'll link it in the description box if you guys want to go watch it but i'm just finally making the transition over to no home button it's been a little weird but so far i'm really loving this phone i'm so thankful to have a phone this nice moving on to like the case and everything this case is from case defy i'm not partnered with them or anything i bought this with my own money but this pop socket i did get at target so i will link that below as well so my phone really hasn't changed too much but a lot of you guys always ask just to see what has changed these videos are extremely popular and i always want to know why like what is your reasoning that you enjoy watching these videos i'm really curious so let me know in a comment why you like to watch these videos. Starting out with my lock screen, this is from Pinterest. I'll leave it linked below if you guys want to use it for your own lock screen. And then as for my home screen, I just like to have a very plain color. And right now I'm using white. In my last one to my iPhone, I had a white home screen as well. I just really like the neutral colors. So starting out with Pinterest, I have my social medias at the top so they're easily accessible, but I really love Pinterest. It's always really fun for me to kind of scroll through and pin things that are like home related, recipes, you name it, I pin it. So here's kind of my feed and what I like to pin. That's Pinterest. And then Twitter. I don't really go on Twitter very often. I used to really like Twitter, but at the time right now, I'm just kind of taking a little break from it because it's just not my favorite right now. And then Instagram, which is my favorite. I freaking love Instagram. If you guys aren't following me over on Instagram, it is at Julia Christine K. And this is kind of what my feed looks like at the moment. Not doing anything fun right now because we're quarantined. It's April 2020 if you guys are coming from the future. These videos kind of gain views just like throughout years. So if you guys are coming from the future, it's quarantine time right now. So I'm not really doing anything crazy, but I like to post travel pictures, just fun pictures in general. So that is Instagram. And then I have Snapchat, which I don't really go on Snapchat. Hey, nice tripod. But I don't really go on Snapchat, I just go on it to send the morning streaks, and that's about it. And then I have Facebook, which I only have Facebook to share cute dog videos and to keep in touch with family. My camera, hey again. And then I have my photos. And then I have my notes, which I have a lot of random things in here. But I have some like video ideas, Instagram, gift searches that I find on TikTok that are cute, podcast episode ideas, my goals for 2020, a grocery list. And then I have reminders, which... The reminders app is my favorite rather than to just like make a running to-do list. If I have an important task, I like to put it in my reminders app. And then I have iCalendar, which right now I only have my work dates in the calendar. Settings, of course, Safari, the Apple Maps, which is my favorite. I know some people like Google Maps, but I'm still a lover of the Apple Maps. Spotify. Spotify is my favorite to listen to all my podcasts, music, etc. Here are some of the podcasts that I like to listen to. Then I have my contacts, of course, and then we move on to my folders. So in my last video, I had the same type of setup here. So when I make my folders, someone had asked how I get this font on here, and it's not a font, it's just Helvetica that is used on iPhones. So I just do all caps and I put a space in between each letter. Someone asked that, so there's that. So I like to put all of my apps into folders. You'll notice that I only have two pages because I just don't like to have a lot of disorganization and I like to put things into folders so I know exactly where they're at. Kind of silly, I know you can go to the top and search for an app, but it's just easier for me. So I have this photo folder and I have Kira Kira. It puts glitter on your photos, so. That one's fun. And then I have Procreate Pocket, which I use to doodle my podcast Instagram pictures, which I actually need to do one today. So good reminder here, but that's just a fun little app. And then I have Unfold, which I don't use this anymore, so I can probably delete it. It's basically just so you can put a story together for Instagram, but I don't really use that very often. I also have PicMonkey, which I don't typically use. I use PicMonkey to edit my thumbnails. So I do have it on my phone as well. And then I do have PixArt now, which is a new addition. So I've been using the glitter tool to draw on my pictures. So I just go to the brushes and use this to draw some glitter. That's my dog. That I like to use for my podcast Instagram as well. I don't really use Afterlight, but if I ever wanna put like dust features onto a photo, I'll use this app, I'll use him again. Um, I don't really use this one 
but it has like some fun light streaks and stuff if you wanted to edit that into your pictures. What I do use now for editing my photos for Instagram is Lightroom, which I'm going to do an entire video on how I edit my photos, but just for the meantime, this is kind of what my photos would look like with certain filters on them. Or presets, not filters. And then I have Photoshop Fix, which I'm not even signed into, but um, the one time I did need this, I was editing a little plugin out of my photo. Next one I have is useful. I have my Excel app, which is to pay my electricity bill, and then I have sell on Etsy because I have an Etsy shop. I have HP Smart, which is just an app for my printer. Next, I have Google Calendar, which is exactly the same as my iCalendar. They both sync. I have my bank app, um, Lyft, of course. If I have a promo code for Lyft, I will put it in the description box. And then I have Workforce, which is to look at my schedule for work. PayPal, of course, obvious reasons. And then I have Uber. Again, if I have an Uber discount code, I'll put that in the description as well. And then I have the Apple Watch app, which it should be paired with my watch, but apparently it's not. Next, I have the fitness app. Cycle Bar is actually closed, so I haven't been there in quite a while because of the whole pandemic that we're going through. And then I have Hitburn, which I'm currently using to exercise. I'm doing kind of like a 30-day challenge. I've definitely been failing at it, but this is kind of what it looks like, and it has workouts, challenges a calendar that you can put different videos into and then I have activity okay I need to sync my watch to this phone I like to be able to look at my workouts and my steps and everything so that's a nice app for activity and then of course health in this other folder I have find my iPhone duo mobile it's a code generator for Instagram then I have group me which has all of my school related stuff I talk to my instructors and classmates through group me Facebook Messenger, and then I have Event Ticker, which I have nothing going on as of right now. Graduation was supposed to be in 39 days, but they postponed the ceremony, so that sucks. And then, of course, the App Store, which I hate having these little red notifications on there, so I'm going to update all of my apps as soon as I'm done with this video. And then, of course, I have a Quizlet, which everyone always asks me to share my Quizlet. I personally don't like to do that because I think putting in the work and the effort helps you to learn the material. That's just my opinion, but that is why I don't share my Quizlet. And then the Instagram followers. You can see like who mutually follows you and who doesn't. And then next I have TikTok, which TikTok is so fun to me. So if you want to go follow me over on TikTok, I don't really post anything too fun, but if you want to and then in shop i have target of course target is my favorite store ever fetch rewards i did see this in a few youtubers videos but lindsay hughes is who inspired me to download this but basically you just like take a picture of your grocery receipts target receipts and it gives you points for purchases and some different products are more points than others amazon of course self-explanatory urban outfitters and then influencer is like an online review platform you basically just review these snaps and you can be selected for different campaigns so you can get free products sent to you so and then i have venmo of course at Eagle and dsw okay then i have my youtube folder which obviously i just have the regular youtube app i also have youtube studio so i can look at my analytics or easily respond to your guys's comments things like that i have the voice memos app in here which i don't really use as frequently anymore because i do have a microphone now and i don't really do voiceovers so and then I have Formulate, which it's a custom shampoo and conditioner website, and it's really cool. It's more so the creator, like, influencer side of it. And then I have Anchor, which is for my podcast. If you guys don't know, I have a podcast, which is on Social Butterfly. Here are some episodes. It's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Anchor at the moment. And then you have to have your food folder. So I have DoorDash, of course, Caribou Coffee, because you get rewards if you use the app, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, and then Chipotle and Jimmy John's, which we have a new Chipotle that you can order online on the app and you can go through the drive-thru and pick it up, which is so nice. So I'm definitely gonna do that here in the near future. And then I have my travel folder, which I have Frontier Airlines, American Airlines, Airbnb, Expedia, Fly Delta. I do have a referral for Airbnb. I do personally get money off of my stay when you guys use the code, but you guys do get, I think, up to $30 to $50 off of your first stay or your first experience that you book through Airbnb. I personally love Airbnb. I've only had good experiences so far. And then I have weather. With AccuWeather is personally my favorite weather app. And then I have just a local weather app. And then on the very bottom, I have my messages, email, and phone, which are the ones that I would go to most frequently. And then on this page, I just have my extra folder, which are things that I don't ever use, but I don't really want to delete. So here are the things that are in this folder. 
And then of course I have Disney Plus because Disney Plus is great. Then I have Mario Kart, which is a recent download. And then I do have Bunch, which is a new app that I'm trying out. And you basically invite your friends to play games with you. And then you can video chat them so you can hear them and see them while you're playing the game. One of these days, I want to try out Mario Kart because I think that would be so funny. So that is everything that is on my updated and new iPhone. If you made it to the very end of this video, comment below what kind of phone you have. Don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram as well as subscribe down below so you guys don't miss any future content from me. But that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in a new video very soon.